Hello, 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 and welcome to this series on using AI to be more productive. As we start to reach the end of the year, I know a lot of you are going to be goal setting for the uh, New Year's coming up, and I want to show you how we can use AI to uh, not only become more productive, but make sure that our productivity is aligned with what's actually important so we can go into next year, 2024, and really kick the hell out of it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing over the series of these newsletters and these accompanying videos is showing you how we can use AI um, to act as a productivity coach to help us to find what's actually important for us uh, and then to break that down into goals, projects and then daily tasks and then keep us on track moving forward from there. Now uh, when I uh, we had a vote to see what I would cover this week and productivity was the uh, topic that was suggested and it's very tempting for me to start showing you kind of hacks and ways to connect like zapier and make.com and various different kind of cool automations in order to become more productive um you know these kind of life hack productivity porn kind of stuff but i wanted to avoid that uh, because, well, one, there's a whole bunch of that stuff out there already, um, which you can go and find. And it's also too very specific to what use cases you have. So I could show you how to make a Zapier automation that helps you get to inbox zero, but that may or may not be a big problem for you in terms of productivity. Um, so I'm going to leave that for other videos that will be more miscellaneous. What I want to do instead is give you a system which you can use, um, to work out your values, your goals, um, set those goals into projects, and then actually get them done over the course of the next year. So let's kick off. In this first part, we want to work out what your values are. This is really the first rule of productivity. It's very easy to be uh, productive, but if we are facing in the wrong direction, if we are focusing on the wrong tasks, then uh, what we actually produce, what we actually create is going to be unimportant to our lives so it's important that we work out the hierarchy of needs like what what we're actually trying to produce um, rather than just running ahead and uh, producing willy-nilly so uh, over this week I'm going to be looking at how you go from values to goals to projects to tasks all right so the first prompt is a coaching prompt you know I like coaching prompts you've probably seen them before so act as a personal coach ask in sequence each of the following questions bam 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 there's a set of questions there uh, and then ask supplementary questions ask each question at a time balance personal and professional and then use the results to generate a list of 10 life value areas i.e money family health etc etc so this is going to be a process and it should be because we're eliciting your values uh, so take your time don't rush this so uh you can see i put in this prompt and chat gpt is like okay cool and it jumps straight in with the first question what's most important to you i've gone ahead and said freedom and then it's going to start to ask additional supplementary questions like this it will then continue um on in this way eliciting what our main values are and then it, blah, 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 once i've gone through all of this there we go uh, chat gpt has said hey cool based on that these are your values um, so obviously the more uh, effort and time you spend uh, talking to chat gpt through all these problems the better your results are going to be so chat gpt is said in order um, your values are entrepreneurial freedom self-reliance innovation and creativity impact and value creation personal development flexibility and adaptability autonomy and decision making work-life balance community network building and financial independence cool that's a great uh, list of values and that really that aligns with a lot of what I do. Um, what you need to do is have a look at this uh, and obviously yours are going to be different to mine. I hope they are. You, we're all going to have different values, um, but you're going to go through it and um, uh, manually adjust it. So you might notice things like flexibility and adaptability is kind of similar to freedom, entrepreneurial freedom. So I might get rid of this one, to be honest. Uh, same with autonomy and decision making. Again, that's similar to self-reliance and entrepreneurial freedom. So I might get rid of that. You just cut and change and edit uh, until you have a final list that you're happy with. And we're going to be using that list in the next part. So that's going to be the next newsletter and or video uh, after this. Um, if you are in the uh, the VIP area in the premium prompts, then um, I'm going to give you an additional prompt which allows you to uh, refine this a bit more um, so that instead of making them all equally valuable, there's going to be a bit more weighting, there's going to be a bit more complexity. So if you're in the VIP area, you'll get that prompt and that's going to upgrade 
uh, the work that we're doing here. Uh, if you're not part of the VIP newsletter, it's $5 a month. I hope it's the best $5 you spend a month. A lot of people have said that to me. Uh, you get 25 additional issues. Um, each one is going to go into uh, more depth with what we're covering each day. So make sure that you subscribe. Uh, you'll find links in the newsletter about how to do that. All right, cool. Uh, next, we are going to be moving on to converting these values into goals. So I'll see you in the next video.